Hi, and welcome to another Color Finality Pro mini tutorial. In this video, we'll explore the built-in film emulation tool. Applying grain to digital footage is one of the main steps of making a video look filmic, as if a film camera was used for capture. There are lots of different sizes and types of film stock. They all have their own unique characteristics, like in terms of color balance and sensitivity to light, among others. How they are processed in a lab also plays a huge part in the final appearance of the image. So there are a lot of variables that go into making a pleasing result. Color Finality Pro's film emulation has the necessary parameters to capture the looks of various film characteristics. Let's check out the options. Watch this video in 4K to see the most detail. Compression used for online videos tends to kill small details, and that makes film grain emulation much less visible and harder to show, but we'll try. Consider subscribing to our channel and turn on our notifications to catch our regular releases as soon as they come out. Ok, so let's make a digital video look more like film. With Color Finale 2 Pro applied to a clip, find Film Emulation at the bottom of the Color Finale Inspector menu. Let's go over the parameters one by one. Grain amount increases the amount of added grain, starting with a value of 0 for no grain. Grain size controls the size of the grain elements within the image. For example, if you are emulating 35mm film grain, then this would use a small size, 16mm grain would use a larger size, and so on. Film response defines whether grain is added into the shadows or into the highlights, which emulates the look of grain in scanned positive or negative film. When a film response slider is set fully left at minus 100, grain is mainly visible in the shadows. With a slider set to the right at plus 100, grain is in the highlights and the shadow area is clean. Let's keep zooming in. Color variation controls whether the emulated grain is monochrome, has chroma value, or is a mix of both. With the slider at 0 on the left, the added grain is only black and white. At 100 on the right, the grain is made up completely of RGB pixels. Slider values in between 0 and 100 are a mixture of both monochrome and RGB pixels. The grain structure of actual film is a texture with a random pattern that changes from one frame to the next. The grain rate slider sets the speed at which the grain pattern is updated. When set to a value of 1, this texture is changed with each consecutive frame. With the slider set to a maximum value of 5, the texture holds for 5 frames before changing, and then holds again for the next 5 frames, and so on. Holding grain frames is especially effective on high frame rate material, like 60fps content. Otherwise, persistence of vision may integrate out frequently changing grain patterns and completely remove the desired effect. All these grain settings can be saved as grain presets. Before your first preset has been created, the only option from the drop-down menu will be None. Once presets have been created and stored, other selections will appear. The drop-down menu can be used to add, rename and delete grain presets. And that's it for now. Now you know what the different film emulation options do in Color Finale 2 Pro, a color grading plugin for Final Cut Pro. Download the free 7-day trial and see what you can make yourself using film emulation and the included color grading tools. See you in the next one. Goodbye.